Hi everyone, this is Dr. Hess. Today we're going to use three column notes and the concept we're going to talk about is probability and we're going to use dice to help us understand probability. The question that we're specifically going to try and answer by the end of this video is how many ways are there to roll two dice that sum to five and what is that probability? Um, first, let me give you an example of what that means. So when we say we have two dice, that means you roll a first dice and maybe that first dice shows a one. And then a second dice, the second die, and if that were to show a four, then you'd have one plus four equals five. And so we want to know how many different ways can we roll these two dice to get five. So as we're doing this, first I want you to think about what is probability. And when we're looking for an answer that's probability, we're looking for an answer that's a fraction, a percent, or a decimal. So to find the probability of something, we need to know the total number of ways that can occur. So how many different ways can we roll two dice? And how many different ways can we roll two dice that add up to five? So an example of an answer would be, as a fraction, would be one-fifth. And one-fifth, when you take one and divide it by five, as a decimal, you get 0 0.2. And as a percent, you multiply your decimal by 100 to get 20%. So same here, if you had 6 seventeenths as your probability as a fraction, you'd type into your calculator 6 divided by 17 to get 0 0.3529. It's a repeating decimal, so it goes on. And then you'd multiply this by 100 to get the percent. All right, so now that we have a feel for what type of answers we're looking for, let's talk about the ways, to, the number of ways to roll two dice. So when you're rolling two dice, I want you to think about each dice as a different colored dice so that you know that each combo is different. So if you, there's one way to roll a two because you have a one and a one. But if you're looking at a three, there's two ways because you could roll the red dice with a one and the green dice with a two and one plus two is three. Or you could roll the red dice with a two and the green dice with a one. And so there's two ways to roll a sum of three. And so you'll notice that if you wanted a sum of five, like in this problem, you can have a four and a one a two and a, uh, a two and a three, a three and a two, and a one and four. Notice that even though this is one plus four, and over here we have four plus one, we're gonna count it twice because this one, the red's a four, and this one's the green is a four. And so if you count it up or multiply, you have six, six numbers on the green and six numbers on the red. And so you have six times six ways to roll two dice. And then we have one, two, three, four, four ways to roll a sum of five. Okay, so now let's use that information to move forward. So we know that there are four ways of rolling two dice that sum to five. And we know that there's 36 ways to roll two dice in general. So that means the probability of rolling two dice that sum to five is four out of 36. But we need to reduce our fraction. And so that means we need to take our four 36 and because four and 36 are not reduced, Four, to, four goes into 36 evenly, and four goes into four evenly as well. So we're saying four divided by four is one, and 36 divided by four is nine. And so that's our reduced fraction. When you're reducing fractions, you're looking to see if there's a number that divides both of these numbers evenly. And so when we reduce that, then we get our reduced fraction of one ninth, and then to get our decimal, We'll take one divided by nine on your calculator. 
And when we do that, we get 0 0.1111. And when you multiply that by 100, you get the percent. So that's our answer in this situation. So in summary, in this video, we talked about the sample space, or that's the 36 ways to roll two dice. And the probability of related to two dice in terms of if we wanted to sum, find the sum based on what we roll. And we also talked about reducing fractions. So here's an extension problem. How many ways can you roll two dice that sum up to 10? And what's the probability as a reduced fraction? And just for good practice, also find the decimal and percent. So pause the video and see what you can do. Okay, now that you have had a minute to work on it, here are the answers. There's three ways of rolling a 10 when you reduce your fraction, because three divides three and three divides 36 evenly, you get a reduced fraction of 1 12th. 1 12th is 0 0.0833 as a decimal, and as a percent, it's 8.3%. Let me know if you have any questions.